So hey guys, today I am doing my America haul. It's a mixture of clothing, makeup, that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoy and I hope it's not too long. I have got quite a bit of stuff. You can see some of it behind me and some of it's in front of me. I think I'm going to start with the makeup um, just because I think that's probably what most of you are here for and kind of the most relevant since so like clothing you can kind of like yeah, clothing's more individual, makeup is kind of more like everyone can do that. Right, I'm having a really irritating hair day, I could not decide what to do with it. Basically, it, I didn't dry it properly and this bit's all flicky and it doesn't look right because I didn't put um, any of my texturising stuff in it and yeah, so please excuse my hair. Let's get straight to the haul. I'm going to start with Target because that seemed to be the bag closest to me. So. Actually, not all of this is even from Target. I went to Target quite like three times, I want to say. I vlogged the entire trip, every shopping trip, all on the vlog. Um, and I just kind of like grabbed some random stuff. It's Target, actually, it's Target, Walgreens and CVS because I only bought one thing in Walgreens and one thing in CVS, so I just put them in the Target bag. And also some of the things in here maybe from Ulta because the kind of, like, as I was using it whilst I was there, it kind of just all got jumbled up. But I tried to remember what it was, so yeah. The first thing I picked up on the entire trip was a CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara because my favourite mascara of all time is the, now I forget the name, Max Factor uh, False Lash Effect and this is the exact same mascara, just the American version and when I worked out the basically how much I paid for it and then you know, doing all the, adding all the tax and converting it back to pounds, it worked out about five pounds and I normally pay about 11 so I actually went back later on the trip and bought another one so I've got it in waterproof and non-waterproof and they're both very black because I just figured that was a really really good thing to pick up because of the you know the saving is insane like I could get two for um less than the one at home so that was something I was really excited about and I've already looked in here and thought something that's not in here that should be in here next thing that I picked up is an elf contour bot contouring blush and bronzing powder. This is the one I'm thinking, like fingers crossed, is the dupe for uh, NARS Laguna and Orgasm blush, you know the little double one. It's uh, in Saint Lucia and I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like the right shade. Um, I have used this, how did I use it? That's. It was three dollars, four dollars, maybe five. I remember thinking wow this elf stuff is really really cheap. Um, I wish I bought some more but I kind of didn't see anything that really caught my attention. So it comes in like this little pack like this and then when you open it, it looks like that. I have, yeah, I have used it a bit, just not much. Um, but yeah, even if I don't like it that much, then it wasn't expensive so I don't really care. It's something that I wanted to try. I'm really not in the filming mood because I've not filmed in so long so I feel really out of it right now. Right, what else did I pick up on that shopping trip? My laptop's having issues right now. I actually picked up an EOS lip balm. It's not even the one that's here, because the one that I picked up, I've lost somewhere. It's in my school bag, I think. But this is another one that I picked up. This one is Tangerine. It was actually reduced down to $2.54, yeah. And then normally $2.99. And then I picked up this one, and I also picked up the pomegranate one. And I also picked up the, I think it's Mixed Berry or something. It's like a light pink one that I gave to Jade. Um. I don't know why it was reduced, it's gotten a bit tatty since it's been in my bag, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but they're, they're good, but I can see what people say about them not being that moisturising, because I don't think they're great, but they're good. Makes sense, not really. Um, another time I went there, I picked up two Essie nail polishes, and I've just thought of something else, which I know where it is, that I picked up on the same trip. I got um in... Mint Candy Apple, which I'm yet to try, and Butler Please, which I just love. I wanted this when it originally came out as part of whatever collection it was, and I didn't get it, and then like, because it was so expensive, and I regretted it, and I didn't think these were that cheaper over there, but I kind of justified buying them because we were there. And I didn't bring that many nail varnishes with me, because I was kind of planning to buy a few over there. I wanted to buy some OPI and China Glaze and stuff, but I didn't see any that I really liked enough to want to buy them, which was a shame, but oh well. Um, 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 again, I didn't buy any of this in Target. I feel like I bought loads of makeup when I was there in Target, and now I've come back, I've like bought none. Um, <laughs> not that moment. I got one thing from Wet n Wild. I did look at all the other Wet n Wild stuff, and I was tempted by their eyeshadow palettes, but 
there weren't, there wasn't anything there that I thought I really wanted and I just didn't see, nothing stood out, you know, it was kind of a little bit, everything looked like the same as another palette I've got or something like that, but I wanted to try something so I picked up one of their lipsticks because I heard they were pretty good and it's this one here, I don't know whether there's a particular style of them, I'm not sure. Um, it's in the shade 965 Cherry Picking and I haven't tried it, I haven't taken it out of its packet yet but it looks quite nice and yeah it's just kind of like a pinky purpley colour. Yeah, I just like the shade. <laughs> another thing I picked up wasn't from Target either, it was from Publix which is like another supermarket type thing and it's this uh, Maybelline eyebrow pencil, or Define a Brow eyebrow pencil. I'm pretty sure you can't get these in the UK and I'm pretty sure that I've heard someone talking about them. I'm pretty, I'm, 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 I can't say that three times in a row. I think it was Miss Budget Beauty, I may be mistaken. Um, I've kind of like used it without like pretending I haven't used it. And if you take it out, it's just a, oh I got it in dark blonde as well, which seems like a pretty good shade actually for me. It's like a little windy uppy thingy and yeah. Haven't used it on my eyebrows yet, I've just kind of swatched it and it's got like a little spoolie bit on the end so I'm looking forward to using that and if they're good then I'm going to cry because I can't get them home. I need to speed up. Another thing I got when I went to Publix was a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush because I think, I think this is something that I just had to get because we couldn't get them in the UK and I got mine in shade 20 Peach Satin and I haven't actually tried it yet so I'm going to try it. Oh that feels weird. Oh wow. Oh that's really odd. That is a weird texture. Why did we never get these in the UK? It's like Play-Doh. Like, I've just been playing with it a tiny bit and I've taken a massive chunk out of the top. That's what it looks like anyway. But yeah, I thought that looked really cool. Um, I also picked up a colour tattoo, like a Maybelline colour tattoo whilst I was there because they had some different shades. And I don't know, we might have this shade at home, I can't remember. But it's barely branded and the packaging's a bit different to ours. And it's just like a nice kind of base colour. Nothing overly special. I just wanted I just wanted to get something different and I knew I'd wear that, so I went for that. Um next, this is the thing I got from CVS. It's this Revlon, what do they call it? It's their new lipstick line, and I wasn't sure if we had it in the UK yet, so I think I just picked one up anyway. I was like, I wanna try one. It's the Revlon Ultra HD lipstick in 830 HD rows. So it looks like this, I haven't opened it yet and I'm really looking forward to try this. I think I'm going to film my first impressions on it because, like I said, I haven't opened it or anything so I can still do that. Then I got two things that from NYX from Target. Um, I became slightly obsessed with these soft matte lip creams when I was over the state in the States. I've got here, I've got Antwerp and San Paolo, Paolo, I'm not sure. Um, they're about seven dollars, seven fifty dollars. I can't remember how much they were, but they're just like crazy. They're like the collection cream puff lip creams if you've had those, or I'm not sure what else they're like. But they're really, really good. I've got the one on today. I've got Milan on, which I bought from Ulta, which I haven't shown you yet. And so they're like liquid lipstick sort of things. Um, one criticism I would have is that they don't match the colour on the bottle very well. Um, so, for instance, this was probably the most matching one which was a rubbish example but you know they're really really highly pigmented and the lasting power is pretty good it's not obviously the longest lasting but I don't really care because I would happily reapply it and I just really love them and I kind of got obsessed with them and I picked up everyone that I saw that I liked and then I came home and I regretted not picking up more just because I love the formula so much and so I think I'm going to go online at some point soon, soon, soon and buy the rest of them because they're insane the last thing that I bought I got from Walgreens and it's this Sally Hansen gel polish. They're like um, nail cleansing pads for when you do gel nails and I hadn't seen Sally Han a lot of Sally Hansen stuff anywhere in the UK. I, yeah, I hadn't seen a lot of it in the UK and so I picked up these. I just didn't realise it was actually open. <laughs> and they're just like little cleansing pads before you apply your gel polish which I just thought could be kind of cool because sometimes I just hate the faff of doing gel nail, like gel nail polish so I thought yeah these just might reduce the stress of it all and they were like five dollars? four fifty I think? no no they were more like six or seven actually take it back so yeah that's everything I got from Target 
I can quickly just talk about Macy's because that's kind of the next thing up that I got. So I went into Macy's looking for mainly shoes, but then I stumbled upon a Clinique counter um, where I picked up this Clinique Acne Solutions Cleansing Bar for face and body. You may remember absolutely ages ago I talked about the Clinique uh, oil, what's it called it? Acne Solutions range in my kind of skincare videos and I had this but I had it in the sample size and I absolutely loved it and then I someone mistaken mistaked it for a bar of soap because that's essentially what it is it's, if you haven't seen it before I'll take it out of the box and they used it on their hands and then I didn't I thought it had been lost and then I picked up the bar of soap one day and I was like wait this feels and smells like my Clinique one and so yeah you get it's just like wrapped up at the moment and so I was like heartbroken and it was only $14 in the States and at home I'm pretty sure it's near enough £20 and so I just had to pick it up and you get the box so that's pretty cool and it just lasts ages and ages and ages like I have mine for well over a year which is probably the most unhygienic thing I've ever said <laughs> but I just don't care I just don't care they do them um, for every skin type as well. I picked up the acne one because I knew that that helped me before when I had some like acne on my body because it's a face and body wash. Um, so I thought that might be quite a good idea again. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really looking forward to. Next up, I'm going to quickly mention Sephora because the little bag is just so darn cute and it's sat in front of me and I just want to play with it. So, oh, wrong way around. So yeah, I bought one teeny tiny thing and it cost me an arm and a leg, but I don't care because I love it and it, they wrapped it really nice and pretty and put like tissue paper but that just got crushed all the way back from America so the one thing that I bought was a mini full exposure palette from Smashbox um, the actual big one I've wanted for a while but I just couldn't justify spending the money this was $24 I think which is about £17 but I thought it would be a really really good size for travel it's even smaller than the Naked Basics palette mm -hmm. and you have 8 shades like so and it's just it's so cute and I didn't want to spend all the money on the big one and then not use it not like it I don't know so yeah this is what it looks like I'll just stop filming and do a little close up because I think that'd be quite cool these are the shades you get I'm not sure if they've got names I think they have numbers oh here we go we'll read them out so I'm going from this one here uh, along and then I'll go to the the matte row which what it says so s1 s3 s4 s6 and then the matte row is M1, M3, M4, M6. So it's basically a matte and a shimmer version of every shade. And I just thought it would be a really cool basic palette to take wherever I want to go on holiday or whatever. If I'm trying to be minimal in what I'm packing. And that way if I know I like this, I may justify buying the full exposure palette, like the big one, later on in the year. So I just went and grabbed the thing I forgot about um, from Target, well one of the two things anyway. I bought this Orly Nail Defense base coat and top, I think it's a base and top coat. Apparently it's protein enri enriched and it's a strengthener and I really quite like it actually. It was like $8, um, which for Orly is like crazy because in the UK it's £5 for baby bottles and you get loads of nail polish in these, I don't know how much but it feels like loads, 18 mil, so pretty hefty size and it's going to last me ages and I just really quite liked it. I haven't used it as a top coat because I kind of want to keep it clean as a base coat rather than, you know, if you use a top coat then sometimes you get some of the polish on it and stuff. Um, but yeah, really like it for now and it's made my nails really quite strong actually. I've noticed that when, since I've not worn it when I have no nail varnish on, they've broken really easily which is kind of weird because my nails don't normally do that. So next up I'm going for Ulta. Ta-da! Uh, first thing I picked up in Ulta was, what was the first thing that I picked up? Pretty sure it was these other two of the, <laughs> the other two of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams that I picked up. Voila. Um, they, I picked up, you know, I've already talked about how much I love them. I keep slouching and I'm like shrinking like a good foot. I have Milan here, which I've got on my lips right now, which is probably a good example of not matching the bottle. And obviously you can't swatch them because this is America we're talking about. And this one I thought was going to be an amazing colour. It's called Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. And I mean look at the colour on the bottle and then if I swatch it for you it's not quite as exciting. Um, it's a nice colour. It's the top one there. It's just not quite as rich and pink as I was expecting. It's quite a light pink. Um, so yeah, slight disappointment with that, but I can't complain because I just love the formula so much. Next, I picked up, also from NYX, I picked up the HD, oh no, I've broken it already. 
Oops. How did that happen? Hmm. I picked up the NYX HD concealer, but um, somehow the packaging has like shattered. Um, I don't know how to describe it the other way that it has shattered. There's like, I don't think you'll be able to see it at all, the packaging, the like, plasticky, you can might be able to see it, I don't know. Um, it's all gone. Oh, that makes it really ugly, now I'm not happy. But, right, the story to go with this is basically, I couldn't find, I couldn't figure out what shade to get. And I vlogged this part, I think, um, but it won't be up for ages, because I'm really bad with my vlogs. I got CW02 in the end, which is good, probably a little bit light, but I wanted something I could use all year round. Um, yeah, I'm more tanned now when I bought them when I bought this. But it's good concealer so far. Thumbs up for it. I do like it a lot. Next I got... Because right next to the NYX counter and the altar that I went to, I only went to one altar and I was there for like 20 minutes at the most because I was just like running around. My dad was in the car. Like we were on our way back from Bush Gardens. And so I didn't have long in there. I ran in and grabbed what I needed and left like as soon as. Um, but I just spotted the Kardashian beauty stand. And I picked up one of their what, the lip lacquers, so it's the Enjoy Stick. And I couldn't obviously swatch it again, and there weren't very many shades left, so I picked up this kind of corally, peachy colour, which was just perfect for me, really. I couldn't have picked up a better shade if I tried. Um, so I've just swatched it here. It's very, very similar to MAC Shanghai Spice, just a little bit more peachy, a little bit more kind of standy outy, and I really love the packaging, like twist up lipstick, why doesn't everyone do these? <laughs> Best idea in the world. So yeah, got that. Okay, so I really need to speed up, I'm taking way too long on this. Um, next thing I picked up was the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Jumbo Lash Mascara, because I figured I couldn't leave America without having something from Physicians Formula. Um, I looked at all the like cheek stuff and the face products which were supposed to be great, didn't really fancy any of that. Um, so I picked up one of their mascaras because I heard these were amazing. And Tati from Glam Life Guru, pretty sure that's her channel, says that she loves these. And so obviously I haven't taken it out of packaging or anything yet. Uh, my real Benefit, their real mascara has just died. So I'm going to start using another mascara. I think I'm going to use that one because I haven't used that one before. And the last thing that I picked up, have I just got lipstick on me? Last thing that I picked up was from L'Oreal Paris. I got the Infallible Eyeshadow uh, Pressed Pigment in Amber Rush because everyone always talks about this and you can't get it in the UK. And I've swatched it on the back of my hand and it looks incredible. So I'm really excited to use that. From Target, but not makeup wise, I had to get pretty much like all of my toiletries when I was there because I just didn't see the point of bringing them over when I was going to be there for long enough to justify buying them. I was there for like 15 nights, 16 nights, so uh, it was definitely worth it. So I picked up the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe shampoo, conditioner and, where's the other one? and the texturizing cream and I fell in love with these. I wanted something to make my hair a little bit more kind of textured, you know what I mean? Um, so I got all these and I used like three quarters of the bottle of these two whilst I was there and so I bought fresh ones to take home and I thought I took the other ones with me but I must throw them in the bin so yeah but incredible 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 pretty sure you can't get this in the UK these were like five dollars each and I think this was four um, this texturizing hair cream is really really good I haven't got it in my hair at the moment hence why my hair isn't too ruffled but I'm I think I used these, maybe I didn't even use these in the shower, they might not have been impacted when I had my shower. Um, but I love them, I love them, I love them. If you want kind of texturised, choppy hair, go for these, incredible. I'm trying to find somewhere that you can get them, I've got a feeling you can get them on Feel Unique. Maybe wrong. So for makeup remover, I was looking and I didn't see very many around, so I just picked up this simple cleansing micellar water. For the whole two weeks that I was there, I only used that much, and I was really going for it, trying to use a lot of it, because I didn't want to leave it there and waste it, because I wasn't sure if I'd have enough space in my case to take it back, but I did, so I brought it back, and I've got like 10 million micellular, micellular, whatever it is, waters now, I've got way too many of them. Might do a video on the ones that I've got, kind of comparing them. And then for face wash, I grabbed the Clarisol Daily Clear Hydro Blast Oil Free Face Wash. Again, I don't know how much this was, um, but it was just kind of a bog standard face wash from Clarisol. I wanted to get something from them because I trusted their brand. They didn't have the normal one that I use at home, which is like the white pump one, the daily clear one. 
but I guess this is kind of from the same range and stuff and it was all right. I mean, I don't know about you, but when I saw this packaging, I thought it was gonna be fruity and I was quite disappointed when it wasn't. It's just like a white face wash with some like bead things in it that didn't really do anything. Um, but yeah, I brought it back with me anyway, just cause I figured that I might as well have the space and Hannah was using it as well. So we went through almost all of it. So yeah, that's all the, oh, apart from Bath and Body Works, but I've got to change memory cards because I'm running out of memory. So that's all of the makeup stuff, beauty stuff. So we're going to get on to some clothing, which is down there and kind of general uh, holiday knickknacks that I bought. Okay, so I made several trips, as in two trips to Bath and Body Works, and um, I gave two other things that I bought away. So <laughs> they won't be in this video. Um, but basically, when you go in there, it's like the aromas, the smells, it just gets you in the whole experience. And as you probably already know, they do their five for five dollars on their hand sanitizers. So I bought ten. Yeah. I gave, well, I gave one to Jade and I bought her one of the little like holder things, I'll basically show you what I'm talking about. So I got Jade one like this, but I got her the Apple one, I think it's the Beautiful Day one, and the exact same case as this, just in like a greeny yellowy colour, because I thought she might like that and it kind of matched, it looked cute. Um, so, lost what I was saying. These cases are 50p and the actual hand sanitizers themselves ended up being a dollar each, so I got that and then I needed another one well because I went in once and I bought five and then I went another time and I bought five and I needed a fifth one so I spotted that they had a men's one and so I was like yes I'm getting that for Matt as an extra present and so I did that and so I'll just quickly go through what I've got there's another one that's attached to my bag at the moment so I'll grab that in a minute um so yeah the first one I've got is raspberry pink peony and it's in this blue case then I've got a uh, Rio Samba sunset which I really liked um, Caribbean Escape, Papaya Sunset, this is much harder to do than it looks, maybe I'm making it look hard, I don't know, um, Lim, Lemon, Lemon Cellos, I think it's a lemon one, citrusy, and then Island Margarita, because that smelled really good. Then <laughs> I got, um, my Tay, and I picked up this really, really cute little turtle, um, holder thing. It was one of their more expensive ones. Does it flash? It's supposed to flash. Oh, it's flashing now. And it's like a little keychain. I just thought that was cute. <laughs> this actual uh, case was 7 50 so that was quite expensive. But we, we made it through. And then I picked up two of their mini kind of hand lotion things. What are they called? Body, Bath and Body Works body lotions. So I got Fresh Brazil Citrus and Mango Surf. And these were on three for ten dollars alongside their sprays. So I got the Fresh Brazil Citrus Spray as well. So all of those were ten dollars, which I thought was really good because then the next time I went in, they were three for twelve. So I obviously got a good deal there. And then the only other thing I picked up whilst I was there, which is really depressing, other than the other hand sanitizer I'll show you, was a candle. And I didn't buy any big ones because I just couldn't get it home, which made me incredibly, incredibly sad. So the only candle I bought, and I went in Bath and Body Works, was this tiny little candle, and it had fresh written on the top, and I haven't really smelt it, I have, I have just smelt it then, it's just like a nice refreshing candle, and I figured, to, I was like, I can't leave without any, but I don't need them enough to spend a lot of money on them, because I didn't realise how expensive they were, they were one, like, of the big three wick ones, one was £22, or two was 25 or 24 or something ridiculous like that. And I was like, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room in my case to take it back. In hindsight, I could have brought back about three, which really makes me annoyed, but then I would have had no money at all. So I just brought back one little one as kind of a memento that I did buy some, but not loads, I didn't go crazy. And so yes, that's Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna grab another bag. I grabbed my Hollister bag. I was really excited to go to Hollister in the States because Hollister in the UK is like really, really expensive. So I knew that I'd been a couple of weeks earlier and I was like, okay, there's a couple of things I kind of want, but not like gonna go crazy if I don't get. Do you know what's really weird? This top, like, this is the first thing I bought anyway. I was so convinced that this was blue stripes and it's black stripes, how bizarre. So it's just like a really, really high necked um, vest top and it kind of flares out a little bit at the sides, but not massively. And then it's got an interesting back 
because it goes really, really high up, really thin. So you'll have to get a really strange bra. I'm thinking this is Bando Central, really. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really super sweet and it was only $9.95, which was kind of crazy. Uh, and it's so soft, I just want to wear it. Just crazy good. The next thing I bought was more expensive, but at the same time I love it so much and I just want to wear it all the time. <laughs> this um, I had seen back in the UK, so it's this top here and it has, it's one of those tops that's got like the holes in the arms and so it's really really cool and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to show you. I'm really bad at describing clothes so yeah this is what it looks like and it's got a nice neckline and everything about it was good and it was $34.95. Oh dear, I've wiped some lipstick on something. I'm going to find something with a lipstick mark in a minute. Which is kind of expensive, but it was a selected purchase, so I don't care. What's the, what's the word? It's not selected, is it? It's like, um, thought about. Something like that. So I bought one thing from PacSun, and I wanted more, but there wasn't a very big selection at the shop I went to. And it was from the Brandy Melville section. So it just looks like a white vest top from the back, it's got kind of like a cute pattern on it and then from the front I mean and then when you turn it around basically the back is only joined at one tiny little bit and I thought like I was like well that's pretty risky but then when I put it on this little bit here is the exact thickness of a bra strap and it makes it look like it's just like so perfectly fit that you would never know that you had a bra on underneath it, it's perfect, it's amazing and it was expensive it's 27 dollars but it was so worth it for that particular point and i love it because of that and i would buy another top from randy melville tomorrow because i know that they're good now <laughs> and i know that karen one of my friends always raves about it and like her little crew they always said that like randy melville and stuff and i was like oh it's so expensive but i can see that now i can see their appreciation for good quality clothing um, next I got some stuff from Edo or Edo Postal, I think that's how you say it, I hope that's how you say it, um, I grabbed, I grabbed, that was a bit vicious, I got this amazing cardigan, um, it's, yeah, like that, I'm not going to try and show you anymore, it's really slouchy, really o oversized, um, it was meant to be 54, I've been wearing it so I took the tag off but the tag is in here, 54.50 it was meant to be but I got 50% off it then when you converted it back into pounds oh and I also got $10 off it because it was over $50 it was like crazy it was so cheap it was ridiculous and so I got that I also picked up a pair of shorts from the Bethany Motor range yeah I didn't know she had a range there my sister like brought me over there and she was like look it's Bethany Motor clothes and I was like oh. um but yeah they're really really cute they're like slouchy shorts they have pockets and little tassels and I just wanted some shorts that were really loose because all of my shorts were like really tight in denim and I just felt so uncomfortable in the heat so I wanted something that was nice and loose and wouldn't get me all hot and flustered and so they were the selected pair. Next I have another jumper kind of knitwear select thing. This again was ridiculously cheap and it's covered in dust because basically when I was in there their air conditioning was broken and so when they were like trying to fix it all the dust was coming out and it was covering all the clothes and me and so this may have some like grey dust on it. So it's a blue um, sheer, very sheer, knitted jumper and the back is so cute. It has this like just lace section and it just looked really sweet and again this was ridiculously cheap as well because it was 54 50 to start off with, had 70% off and then I got $10 off everything so take a bit of money off that. It was like £11 or something ridiculous once I worked it back so I had to pick up that because I thought it was cute. And basic, base, I can't talk. Basically that was everything that I bought clothing wise. I picked up and makeup wise, everything like that. I picked up two bags worth of stuff from actual Disney which I'm gonna quickly go through so I know some people will be interested if there's anyone still watching. I picked up a Mickey Mouse America pen which in reality I'm never gonna use but it just looked so cute and I thought it would be really cute on my like um, on my desk in my little pen pot. And I may use it. Probably won't. Uh, I picked up three post-it note sticky tab things because they were three for five dollars and I mean how cute I've got like Minnie's bow, Mickey's pants, pants, trousers and uh, Minnie's hand? Yeah Minnie's hand and it's so cute. I haven't opened them yet obviously. I picked up two flannels. Oh actually I forgot this was part of Matt's present. Um, I, I bought him a Mickey Mouse flannel. 
so you guys are seeing it before he is. Actually, I might give it to him later, so maybe not. And I bought a Walt Disney World flannel, just a cute one for me, because, you know, I needed one. Then I picked up a little keychain, which I thought was really sweet. So it's Minnie Mouse's shoes. It's going to annoy the hell out of me, and I know, and a little bow. And this was 9 95 but I wanted it so that I can put it on my car keys when I finally get a car. Uh, <laughs> it's going to just annoy me so much when I'm driving, but I just don't even care. And so in the second bag was from a different shop. This I got this all at Downtown Disney on like our last day, day before last. So if you want to watch it, vlogged it, you know, that kind of thing. It won't be up for ages because I'm a lazy vlogger. I have one of their like pin things. Basically, you can buy these pins when you're there. And I have one of their like pin neck things from last time I went. Except I couldn't find it to take it this time, which I was really annoyed about. At the time I was like, ah, no, whatever, I'm never going to wear it. But then when like you're there and everyone has them on, I was like, I totally want mine right now. And... Basically, I just bought two pins. I'm just telling you every story for everything I bought. And this video is about half an hour, which is just insane. Okay, so I just got this 2015 one. Um, trying to put it slightly in focus. And I picked up a Walt Disney World one with Mickey Mouse holding some balloons. And the balloons are, like, textured, so I thought that looked cool. And so, yeah, that's everything I bought from that. I really just want to quickly run and grab something else that I've just remembered that I picked up. Because that needs to be said. It just needs to be said again. So... This is my other purchase from Disney. It's a luxurious pair of Minnie Mouse ears. God, do they know how to charge for these things. They were like $20 for a pair of Minnie Mouse ears, but I don't care because I wore them a lot, as you'll see in my vlog. I got them when we were in the Magic Kingdom because I just thought that was the most fitting. And yeah, I just wanted to give a last shout out to a book I bought at the airport. I bought The Longest Ride as the book form because the film's coming out soon and I really want to see it, but then I know I just oh, I shouldn't go see it. I just don't have any money, so <laughs> I was like, I'll buy the book instead and read it and be educated when I go watch the film eventually. And I read like the first seven chapters on the plane here, like on the plane over, so yeah, I've done a pretty decent dent into it. I'm about a quarter of the way through, so I was quite pleased with that. And that's everything I bought from America. Looking at it now, it's not actually that much. I have a load of American sweets and food items that I want to try. And I'm kind of debating. I, I bought them to do a video whilst I was there and I never filmed it. So I brought them back, obviously. And I'm kind of still debating whether to do like an American food challenge video by like tasting everything. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm hoping that someone has lasted the whole way through this video. Pretty rambly, pretty ranty, but <laughs> we've made it. Yes. So I will see you guys next time. Leave any video requests down below. My videos at the moment will kind of trail off because it's exam season. So my whole kind of mind will be on exams. And, um, but hopefully as soon as that finishes, which will be like kind of early July, July, June. If it was early July, I'd be well depressed right now. It's early June. So video should be back then, so it's kind of like a month, two months off YouTube. Um, might be a video every now and then, but probably not because I just don't want to waste, waste my time. Take my mind off my studying, that's what I'm trying to say. So hope you've enjoyed and I hope this wasn't too long, but I know it was. So I'll see you next time guys, bye!